Hi everybody! Today we're going to be working on some magic bubble paintings and you're going to take your markers and your paper and you're going to draw bubbles or circles with very thick marker lines. You want to use a marker line that's about twice as thick as a normal thick marker line. So you really want to make it um, thicker than normal and color nice and solid. If you'd like you can make those bubbles have bubbles inside other bubbles with the same color or different colors or you can just make polka dots if you want to fill in some of the smaller spots with polka dots you can do that as well but we're gonna fill up our whole paper with magic bubbles with very thick marker lines Once your whole paper is full of bubbles, you're going to take some plain water and a paintbrush and you're going to paint each bubble in with plain water. And when you paint those in, your water is going to catch some of the, it, the ink from the marker and sort of make the paper look soft and kind of fuzzy looking. So you're going to tint the paper with that plain water that you're using. Um, what I would do is I would do all of the same color first. So I would do all the green together. And then I would switch, rinse my brush out and switch colors and do all of the blue, for example. But you're going to try to keep your brush pretty clean. If you need more water, you're just going to dip your brush back in the water and make sure your brush is pretty wet for this step. Once you're done painting in all your magic bubbles, you can either let it dry like this or you can make a background for this by painting the background in with plain water as well. If you decide to do that, you just want to be careful to, to carefully paint around each bubble with a very wet brush. You don't want to um, paint over the bubbles, you want to paint around the bubbles. And you just want to make sure your brush is nice and wet and also pretty clean. You want to keep rinsing it out to make sure that the water is pretty clean. If you paint over the whole thing carefully, you'll still have those nice bright colors and then they'll contrast with some kind of nice soft fuzziness around each bubble. I hope you had fun and we're going to let these dry and then we're going to clean up our art supplies. Thanks everybody!